my god, big fat yikes. Oh, oh my god! Hello friends, it's me. Today we're gonna be watching some crazy Japanese pranks. So you're on your way walking to work, everybody starts running and screaming. <laughs> what you do? Two sips of my caramel macchiato. Yeah, I can't do this. Not today. They brought a whole freaking velociraptor to your workplace. Yeah, I would be terrified. Until you realize, hold up. Dinosaurs are extinct. You can't hurt me. Nah, but I would still run. Smash like if you would run. Comment if you would stand your ground and fight him. <laughs> Okay, so that's what's gonna happen. If you stand your ground, I mean, he'd sniff you a little, maybe give you the good old lick. But sooner or later, you're gonna realize it's not a real <laughs> dinosaur. Stay in Jurassic Park. This is my workspace, my sanctuary. You can't hurt me. But this is such a freaking insane prank that they would go this far to scare their employees into working harder. This next one is a trap elevator. Are you scared of elevators? Comment below. I have never been scared of elevators until now. <laughs> Did this elevator take her to? <laughs> You're on a game show. This is how we get our contestants in Japan. Whoever falls through our trap elevator, how to completely destroy somebody's trust in the world. Like imagine the anxiety that you would live with the rest of your life after this happening to you. Like I ain't trusting anything. I ain't trusting any floor ever again if this ever happened to me. I know it would be fun, cool, whatever, as long as you don't get hurt, but still, that is insane. <laughs> Imagine how confused you would be if this happened to you like <laughs> It's a water slide too? You're gonna be wet and sticky after this happens. Did these people sign up for this? She looked like she enjoyed it. She was having a good time. Oh, thank you. My time has finally come. End my suffering. <laughs> Like she's done this before. She got the whole positioning on point. I feel like if this happened to me, I would be all like sliding down the slide like this. I know I would have hit something. I'd be like, oh, my Achilles tendon. So they set up a super water fountain. This ain't no regular water fountain. This one gushes water 20 feet up in the air. <laughs> See, whenever I drink from a water fountain, I always, always, always press the water for a hot second, let it run, and then I drink from it. This battle ruin your entire day. <laughs> What's wrong with this abnormal fountain? I'm still trying to get my H2O, trying to stay hydrated, even though you just did me dirty like that. That looked like it hurt too, like that water pressure? That ain't no Nerf gun. That's like when you bend your hose and then the water gushes out like real fast, but like in your face? That sounds dangerous. <laughs> oh my God, I don't think I'm... <laughs> 
<laughs> That's me right there. I feel personally attacked. He even tested it out and was like, oh yeah, I can totally drink from this. Water's like, gotcha. <laughs> Poor grandpa knocked his hat back. Man, that's what you get for drinking water. That's why I only drink tea. Tea is 99% water. When I say they go too far, they really go too far. Like they hired an entire mob to just start running and screaming to scare people. Next one, they got their entire mob and gave them baseball bats. We love quality content. Dude, he's probably like, what did I do? Thinks about every time I pissed off somebody the last 34 years of my life. Okay, they just pushed them around a little bit. I would be so confused. I'd be like, y'all got the wrong guy or something? Scared is an understatement. I would be terrified. Like, you never know what you did wrong. Whenever somebody's like, we need to have a talk. This is what it feels like. <laughs> like, you never know what you did. I would've jumped that gate and been out. You'll never get me. I could run faster than all 56 of you. You're happily walking down a corridor one morning when suddenly... You're completely soaked from head to toe, along with everything you were carrying. That's pretty cruel. This poor dude, he is just on his way to work. Imagine your phone, your laptop, everything falls in this wet hole. How did they just create a wet hole in the middle of this hallway? I can't imagine how much work they put into this. They had to like dig a hole and then cover it with whatever the floor is made of and make it like look like there's nothing wrong with the floor. They really go off. All out for pranks. Like, this is some next level stuff. <laughs> if this happened to me, I would just never leave my house again. I know it looks funny, I know everybody's laughing now, but if it's actually you, you would have so much anxiety the rest of your life. Like, you can't trust any walkable surface. This guy sees a suspicious manhole cover and cleverly avoids it. Danger averted. Oh! You see how smart that dude was? He walked around the manhole. That's where they set up a sinkhole. But he was like, no, nah, not today, Satan. I won't fall for your tricks. You know what? Whenever I'm walking somewhere and there's like a grate or like a manhole or something, I always walk on it. See, that's a big mistake. And my friends are always like, why you always walk on those? Like walk, walk on the regular sidewalk. I'm like, I don't fear death. But man, I do fear this. <laughs> Anything. They're like, oh, he didn't walk over the manhole. It's okay. We got him when he sits in the back of the van. Take your seat, sir. And the chair does a 180 into a pool. It's like we get him one way or another. <laughs> oh no, I can't take this anymore. This is just straight up evil. This dude put on a whole suit, was ready to do a speech and everything, and they were gonna do him like that. Oof. So this next one is an apocalypse prank. So this woman is just getting her hair done. They put a towel over her face, so like when they wash her hair, all the water doesn't get on her face, which is really smart. They should do that in America. Anyways, the hairdresser leaves her for over 10 minutes. And at this point, she's like, what's going on? Why is my hair not being conditioned? Now 
she looks like the crazy one. <laughs> oh my god, this is pure genius. Like, these pranks are pure gold. Like what? The apocalypse only happened in this hair salon. You know what? I got a free haircut. I'ma just go home. Bye. So this next prank is a broken chair prank. I know, classic. So they're at the discussion of a fake TV show. So she thinks she's like auditioning or getting an interview to be on a show. <laughs> you right there. You broke our chair. You got the part because you broke our chair. Now we can't interview other people. Mission accomplished. <laughs> so they upgraded the chair. We're gonna do this with a swivel chair now. So she's sitting straight on it so it doesn't break right away. So they're like, okay, we're gonna test the waters a little bit. Are you good at marshmallow catching? Wow, that's a skill I one day wish to have marshmallow catching. <laughs> oh my god! She actually caught the marshmallow on her first try. She wasn't kidding. Yeah, it's a skill I have. Level 100 marshmallow catcher. Level 2 chair sitter. That was pretty good. This next one is so wholesome, but also very creepy. So this is the random guy prank. So whenever these ladies like open a door or like turn around or whatever, this random dude with a bowl cut will be in their face. a video like that before where somebody will just stand behind them for a long time and just be like really creepy and some people literally don't notice. I mean my friends. I'll like stand behind them, do stupid things and they won't take a second look at me. Like whenever my friends come over, they leave and then get in their car back out of my driveway. I will literally stand at the window and stare at them and they'll never notice. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys enjoyed and want a part two, make sure you smash that like button the and check out my other Japan video in the description below. And comment below which one of these would be the worst. Like, life ruined if somebody did this to you. And make sure you subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh! I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.